Hi guys, this is Pastor Tim, lead pastor at City Church of the Treasure Coast. Thank you for joining me tonight and every night for Seven on the Seven. It's our nightly time of encouragement, our nightly time in God's Word, our nightly time of sticking together at a time when this pandemic and the crisis we face has pulled us physically apart. We can still come together every night. That's the amazing thing about God's Spirit. Even though we're physically not in the same room, in the Spirit, we are in unity and we are together. I want to thank you again for joining us, whether it's Facebook or YouTube or live stream uh, here tonight. We are excited that you are with us. We love you and we are praying for you today. Now, the last time I was together, I was sharing about Elijah. And before we jump into that, I want to look at Psalm chapter 6, verse 4. Psalm 6 Verse 4 says, Turn, O Lord, and deliver me, save me, because of your unfailing love. I really feel like that should be our prayer tonight. God, will you turn and deliver? We believe that your love doesn't fail, that your love is perfect, that you have big love and greater love for us. And we need deliverance today. Many of you have been laid off. We've heard uh, here in the last few days, about uh, 5 million people losing their job. You need deliverance. You need God's love to make provision for you. Many of you uh, are sick, are suffering. Some of you have COVID-19. We're praying for deliverance and healing today. And then many of you, just the stress of being trapped in your homes. Kids, those of you that aren't in school, all of that normal being taken away. I want to encourage you. Will you ask God to turn to you as you turn to Him tonight? We've been given this gift of a little more time than we usually have. It doesn't feel like a gift. I understand that. But it is a gift. And so tonight, as we look to God's Word, will you turn towards God as we pray and ask Him to turn towards us? Now, Elijah, the last time we were together, he closed up the market of rain. He quarantined himself in the desert. In fact, we look at 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 5. So Elijah did what the Lord had told him. He went to Kareth Ravine, east of the Jordan, and stayed there. And while he's there, we see in verse 6 that the ravens brought him food, uh, meat, and bread, and that he drank from the brook. And what I said at the end of our last time together is that sometimes God will put us in a place that is far off, a new place, a new normal, where we have a different system of provision, but that God is still the source. And what I want to talk about today is Elijah had food delivery and had fresh water. Something amazing happens, and it teaches us that when we serve the Lord, there are times that the river runs dry. There are times that the brook runs dry. There are times that God puts us in a new situation of miraculous provision. And then there's the time when it stops, when it dries up. There are seasons in our life. I don't care if somebody tells you that there's not. Um, there are seasons, God created seasons, and the miraculous season is the place of great provision. And for many of us, we just came out of a miraculous season. Our retirements and, and our bank accounts and our jobs were greater than they'd ever been. Some of you, it literally was a miracle that you came across that provision or that healing. And those, those seasons of great provision, they dry up. God allows them to dry up for a purpose. Here's the purpose. The purpose is He's moving us to a new place and a new mission. A look here at 1 Kings 17, 7 through 9. It says, sometime later, what's the sometime later? Sometime after Jimmy and John the raven and the brook and the miraculous food delivery, sometime after that, after Elijah being there, the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Now the natural affected the natural system. The natural provision was affected, but God is still the supernatural source. Verse 8, then the word of the Lord came to him. Now, I want to stop right here. When you're in a place where the system has dried up, where the natural has dried up, that is the time we need to listen for God. God's word will flow in if we turn to him. But we have to listen. The word of the Lord came to Elijah, verse 9 of 1 Kings 17. Go at once to Zarephath in the region of Sidon and stay there. I have directed a widow there to supply you with food. And, and I love this church because God cares about his people having food. Now today we fed, I'm going I'm to estimate 500 family members today here at the church. 
We fed 500 family members because we care. We want to have the heart of God. We want to have the love of God. And, and we don't really have the finances to do it, but we are walking on faith to feed those families. And hopefully we'll have a video up later that will show you the car line going all around the church building. I declare by faith that's the way it's going to be when we have church, that the car line will be going all over the building. But I want you to see this in 1 Kings 17. When we lose our temporary source, it is because God is moving us to new provision, new provision. And then one day, church, when we lose these physical bodies, he moves us on to eternal provision. The devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. What can he really do? Nothing. If he takes our lives and we belong to Jesus, we have eternal provision. We are with our Lord face to face with nothing separating us. And so tonight is the night to understand why am I going through this? People have called and people are crying and people are hurting and our hearts are broken and we're all hurting through this. Why is this happening? I'll, I'll let you know. This is not the plan of God. This is not the design of God, but God will use this to put us in his divine plan and destiny, his divine design. God is moving us through this. If you will listen, just like Elijah, you will hear and you will find out that God is moving you. And where you're going next, church, will take even more faith because we build from faith to faith to faith. We build faith muscle through every trial, through every trial. Remember that verse we started off with tonight? God will deliver us with his unfailing love. Let's call out. Let's cry out. Let's do that in prayer right now. You know, Israelite in the desert needed their temporary source of manna, the miracle food, and they needed to learn that. They needed to learn that God supplies every day so they could be courageous to finally take on the giant. And so as we walk through these trials today, God is moving you to a place to take on the giant like you never have before. And I'm going to pray that you will have the victory in Jesus. He is our victory. Will you reach out your hand tonight, seven on the seven, and pray with me as we close out our time together. Lord Jesus, tonight, as we have lost our system or our natural or even our supernatural provision, God, in these last few days and weeks, we believe, God, that you are moving us to a new place. We ask that you would turn and deliver us. God, I, I pray for those folks that are in a hospital bed tonight watching this. Lord, I pray you turn and deliver them with your healing touch and your healing hand. God, I pray for that young person that's been out of school and doesn't know how they're going to walk for graduation and, and their whole world's been turned upside down. I pray that you would turn tonight and deliver and bring peace, Lord, where there is hopelessness and anxiety. God, I pray for that uh, person that is shut in tonight with a pre-existing medical condition, Lord. I pray your protection, your safety. God, I pray for those that have COVID-19, that your healing would flow tonight supernaturally, God. And I pray that you'd have every one of us cry out to hear from you. Where do we go next, God? What do you have next? What's next, Lord? You've removed us from our comfort zone zones. What the devil has meant to kill us is going to move us out of our comfort zone to a place again of supernatural trust and of miracles. We believe it, God. We ask for it. We trust you for it tonight. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much tonight for joining us for 7 on the 7. We love you. We are looking out for you. We are going to be so excited about the day when we come back together and celebrate. We want to remind you again tonight to go to citychurchtreasurecoast.com citychurchtreasurecoast.com. If you're touched by this broadcast or if you just have seen our ministries continue to move, um, we need your financial support. So please give a gift of $7 or $25 or $50 or whatever you can give citychurchtreasurecoast.com tonight to let us know you're there and to give us the resources we need so we can move where God is calling us to move. Again, we love you, but God loves you even more. God bless you tonight.